This is a PC, and this is me and my story of how I almost lost my mind in trying building a new PC with absolutely no experience. But wait, I am doing this That's because my old PC is shit. So, PC build करने के लिए सबसे पहले मैंने computers के बारे में थोड़ी बहुत research की to better understand एक PC काम कैसे करता है and what components would be good. और क्योंकि AI का जमाना है, so मैंने chat GPT से पूछा how to build a PC and I fixed my budget to thirty thousand rupees. Then, after about a few hours of research, मैंने सारे components को online purchase कर लिया. It took approximately fourteen days to come and I started building the PC with the motherboard. So, a motherboard is a building ke foundation ke equivalent hota hai, which holds all the necessary components together and help them in communication. I'm gonna be using an MSI H410M Pro VH as the motherboard, after which we need to install the CPU or the processor. For the processor, I ja am Intel Core i3 10th generation CPU. This si is probably the PC ka sabse zyada important component of the PC. For installing it, I gently unhinge the lever to expose the socket of the CPU, which I have carefully processor ko uski casing se bahar nikala. then I aligned the golden triangle on the edge of the CPU to the motherboard. Then just drop the CPU into its relative slot without applying any pressure and let gravity do the rest of the work. Then simply push down the lever once again until the cover of the socket pops out. After which we need to install the CPU cooler. To install it, first of all, I applied a little thermal paste on the CPU. After which I covered it with the fan and by pushing the fan into its place, the CPU cooler is installed. So, after installing the processor, we need to move on to the RAM. For RAM, I am going to use crucial 16GB DDR4 32MHz RAM. So, 16GB of RAM would be more than enough for my daily tasks. To install it, you first need to identify these slots present on the motherboard. Then, simply unlock them with the help of your fingers. Then, check the position of the notch on the RAM and make sure to align it with its relative slot present on the motherboard. Then, push down firmly until the RAM clicks into place. Repeat the same procedure with the other stick and the RAM is installed. This point but motherboard almost ready to go and we just need to move everything inside of the case. Install the power supply, graphics card and other necessary components like this. And that's why we need to prepare the PC cabinet first. This is a Chiptronix X410B and this thing have a specific place for the power supply. This is the PSU that I'm gonna be using for the build. For installing it, I removed the front and back panel. Ko remove kiya. Then I inserted the power supply inside of the case while making sure that the fan is facing downwards. So, power supply ko case ke fix the case, I had to install the motherboard ko bhi case. And for that, I just flipped the case on the side. After that, I placed the motherboard ko uski janga par place kiya, and I secured it into place with the help of some screws so that the motherboard aligns with the IOS shield at the back perfectly. After which, I installed the storage into my PC. For storage, I am going to use 500 gigs of SATA SSD. For this install, I have simply aligned the place screws se se secure kar diya. Now, for the SSD install, karne ke time par, there wasn't any space left inside of the cabinet. So, I simply placed it below the motherboord. This point, par akar, ye tin ka dabba ek asli PC ki lagne laga tha. So, I moved on to the graphics card. For install, karne ke liye, maine case ke piche present covering plates ko remove kiya. And just like the RAM, I aligned the graphics card to the PCIe slot on the motherboard. Then I gently pushed down the graphics card and secured it with the help of a screw. And now, the most intimidating step of the build, the cables. Honestly, I don't manual to learn something on the manual, which cable goes where. So, I watched YouTube par iske bare mein thodi bahut videos on YouTube, after which I was ready. The SATA power cable goes into the SSD. The one end of the SATA cable gets connected to the SSD and the other one to the motherboard. This is a CPU power cable, which gets connected into the top left corner of the motherboard. These are the cables coming from the case. It gets connected at the bottom. Now, 24-pin cable connects to the time. Par. I realized that the cable is too short to reach the motherboard. So, I bought an extension of that cable and connected one end of it to the cable and the other one to the motherboard. At last, I connected the USB 3.2 cable right there. So, the PC is looking great from the front, but the back tells a different story. So, I took cable ties lekar aaya and spent a while in cable management. For finishing touches, ke liye, I also added an RGB cooler at the back of the CPU. Last, I installed an M.2 240GB SSD bhi install ki, in which I'm gonna install the Windows, drivers and other necessary softwares. And finally, I mounted the back panel, the front panel and took off the protective film and powered on the PC for the first time. Oh. Then I connected my monitor, keyboard and meow. Oh, sorry, my bad. Then I spent a while in installing the operating system, drivers, and other necessary softwares. For PC key overall performance check, I took my controller and started playing some games. For game khelte waqt, I didn't feel any lag and got pretty good FPS on every game that I played. For computer ki editing performance check karne ke liye, I ran Premiere Pro bhi run karke dekha and almost everything was working smoothly. So, 
घंटों मेहनत करने के बाद ये रहा फाइनल प्रोडक्ट आई रियली होप यू लाइक इट सी यू नेक्स्ट टाइम